Uh, Alright, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 And it reads, it says For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise And garments rolled in blood Right, because all the ancient wars was fought With swords, shields, bow and arrows All different types of things of that sort But it says But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, right? And that's what the brothers brought out in the previous precepts going into those ICBM nuclear missiles, which is going to be shot off by all these different countries that the brothers mentioned, Russia, and uh, NATO and the EU, China, Iran, and all these other countries. They're going to shoot their missiles on this place, and America, Babylon the Great will be taken out by burning and fuel of fire, which is the second death. That's right. That's right. Good down. Kind, kind. Nope. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, in verse 20. It says, The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Okay, because the the, the impact from those the impact from those ICBM missiles are going to cause the people to be in a uh in a in a perplexed state of mind you know like in a, in a state of confusion you know and and, and just and uh and like a and like a man who had had a high consumption of, of alcohol you know is going to cause uh uh people to uh to stagger all right and it says and shall be removed and that and like that's speaking of that's speaking of the nuclear destruction the earth is going to reel to and fro when the impact of the, the missiles hit America is going to be so impactful that the earth is going to reel to and fro like 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 someone that's drunk, staggering. You know, you got it. Kind of, kind of. Yeah. And it says and it says and shall be it says and shall be removed. It says and shall be removed like a cottage because um like it like when those missiles hit it, the, the earth is going to. uh the, the, the elements are going to melt with uh with fervent heat, you know. As the, as the scriptures say, it says, "And the transgression, so like it, it says, and the transgression thereof uh, shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again." <clears throat> so, pretty much, you know, what I'm saying it, it's, it's there's going to be uh it's not going to be any more wickedness, you know, upon the land. That's right. The Lord is coming back very soon. And you remember, Yahushai and the angels are coming back with fire. We always have to throw that in. That's very important. That's the Lord's return is, is going to take place very soon. And uh, he's going to redeem the elect. You know, a good large portion of the elect is in America. Then you're going to have elect members across the four corners of the earth. The Lord's going to beam up the elect right before those nuclear missiles hit America. And there's going to be a, a heavy, a heavy destruction. One that we're going to talk about forever. Um, hey man, uh, I'm gonna close out on this last one. I'm gonna read through it just real quick. It's not a long precept, beautiful precepts, brothers. Um, Revelation uh, 18 and 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment. Uh, matter of fact, I'll start at nine and just read down. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, right? These other nations who made a lot of money and became wealthy and rich off of. You know, trade deals with America, all right, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. So these these um you know these kings, these leaders are going to be crying not because they give a damn about America, but because of all the riches and the wealth they they were able to accumulate uh, by doing these trade deals with America, and they're going to be seeing you know these these men who are I forget what you call the men who drive the ships, you know who steer the ships and 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 do the trades. You know, they're going to be seeing from from the sea this great destruction, this nuclear destruction. You can read about in this whole chapter, Revelation 18 chapter. Right. But these is going to be televised. The world's going to see this great destruction. Right. And these kings who made a lot of money uh, and who sold out, who basically, uh, you know, took on the ways of America to do these trade deals are going to be lamenting, crying. Right. Because of the riches they're going to lose or not be able to accumulate 
because of destruction of America. It says, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, right? They're going to, we're all, look, Lord, when we're part of the elect number, the world's going to see this destruction. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, man. It says verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Lord is only going to use one hour to destroy this land and lay it desolate. The only thing that's going to dwell here are desert creatures, ones, creatures that can withstand radiation. You can read about that Isaiah 34 chapter, and I think it's another chapter that goes into it as well. So the fate of America is nuclear destruction. That's why everything is precisely happening on a, on a place on, on the planet Earth. All these prophecies are being fulfilled and aligning up with the final moments um, of the Most High's will, which is the, the destruction of Babylon the Great, the main hub of the Edomites, the so-called white people. Um, anything else? Hey, so with that, with that being said, we're gonna close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom, Shalom.